Good morning, it is 6.22 on Friday the 7th of October. Welcome, welcome to Vlogtober with Little Icac. Ah, I feel like I should do the introduction now, maybe I'll all do it that way. Yeah, so it is Friday the 7th of October. Um, I am shattered and that's my own fault. Last night it got to about quarter to 11 and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll finish this row of what I'm doing. Oh, I was doing... Um, um my granny striped blanket and i thought i'll finish this row and i'll go to bed and then i got distracted and then it was quarter past 11 and i was on the lovecraft's website because i was looking at the baby knitting pattern that i've been talking about the one that dorothy recommended and it was a digital download on lovecraft and then i was trying to choose some yarn and then I saw that Lovecraft has 40% off that ended at midnight. So then I was scrolling through all the stuff that had 40% off. And I ordered some, I ordered, I think it's Hayfield bonus DK for the, uh, for the cardigan and um, pom pom hat that I'm going to do. And I'm not 100% sure now whether that is going to be a bit thin, but hopefully it'll be fine. Anyway, so I ordered that. And then maybe a couple of balls of West Yorkshire Spinner fell in as well, because that was down to £4. Uh, £4.20 or something like that for a ball, and it's normally 7 50 So it did seem a really good bargain. So two balls of that fell into the basket as well. And I had to get the order in by midnight, and of course didn't want to miss out on anything else. Blah, 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 blah. So before I knew it, I was checking out of Lovecrafts at 5 to midnight, so not getting to bed until gone midnight. So all my own fault. Anyway, I have got bacon cooking. Bear with, because I'm just going to check on the bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've got some bacon cooking this morning. I do always have a proper breakfast. Um, I mean, I had granola the other day. It's actually quite unlikely to have cereal. Um, I will often have bacon, eggs, um, that sort of breakfast in the morning. Anyway, coffee is made. Um, I've got my coffee this morning in my summer sock camp mug, which I bought from the crazy sock lady a couple of years ago. And I think this year, she I think I was lucky because I think she only did mugs um, one year, the first year maybe, because that's the problem she had shipping them uh, in one piece, especially shipping them abroad. So I've got a rarity there in the UK with a crazy sock lady summer sock camp mug. Um, plans for today? Well, work. Don't even talk to me about work yesterday. Work. Um, we've got the house rowing um, competition first thing this morning. And yeah, I will try and get away at a reasonable time from work. Plan for this evening is to put my feet up and relax. Probably go on a Zoom call. Uh, knit group zoom um, and see some friends knitting friends um, and maybe as well this evening I'll give you a quick talk about the other vlogtobers that I'm watching with the other podcasts that I'm watching and you guys can recommend some for me um, once again a massive thank you for all the subscribers and don't forget to look out for Mr Pumpkin each day uh, if you know what I'm talking about if you check out the vlog Every day you will spot a crocheted pumpkin. I talk about it, I'm making it on day one, to be that clear. And then day two, I'll show it to you. So Mr. Pumpkin appears in the vlog somewhere and you need to spot him. And then you need to keep a note of where you spot him on each day. Because at the end of the month, when you have spotted him 31 times, or if I only do 25 vlogs, 25 times, whatever, um you pop it all in an email where you saw them every day uh email it to me and i will give you the email address or if you watch the podcast the email address is always on there um and the you'll be entered for a prize draw and the winner of that will win um the mystery sock club for this month of october which are getting posted tonight um and um i will show that yarn next week after i know everybody has received theirs so yeah don't forget to look out for mr pumpkin oh. I always rub my eyes in the morning, don't I? Don't forget to look out for this pumpkin. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. So this big box of yarn here 
is we've got Advents in, Sock Club, some new, the um, Witch's Brew colourway, and I'm going to take that down. It's all got wound up last night. Take it down to the office. I need to label and photograph the um, the monthly Sock Club, and then that is going to be posted out. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. It is. <coughs> I keep coughing all the time at night. It is 10 to 5 on Friday. I have been home about 15 minutes. I've taken off my work clothes, got into the chilled out um, loungewear. This is my Yarnivore t-shirt that I bought from Stitches Tees when I was at Yarndale um, two weeks ago. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm now in the office. The office is a mess, an absolute mess mess um there's so much yarn down here so much yarn that needs putting away some of it is my own personal yarn that needs to go into the stash boxes some of it obviously i've still got all i say obviously but i've got all the fingering weight stuff that i got out the cupboard the other day to show you that's still in a bag that needs to go back in the cupboard but I want to organize it a little bit the Mystery Sock Club needs to be posted out. That's what I'm going to be doing in a minute. Um, Advent yarn is hidden under that blanket. I've got brought some more down, so that needs to go over there. I've only got one, one set of dyeing left to do for the Advent. Um, then I will put it all together and see if there's anything that I'm not happy with, anything I want to change. Um, yeah, it is an absolute mess. I said to my husband that I know it's a mess down here. It's his office, technically. I said to him, I know it's a real mess. Um, on Sunday, if the weather is good, I'll get the boxes out of the garage. I will have a sort through. I will put away uh, this yarn and put stack the garage the boxes back in the garage, which also means you guys can have a little look at what's in there. I'm thinking as well, I'm going to try and get rid of some stuff. Um, some, I, I've got in my head some yarn that I've pulled out, put back in, pulled out, put back in. That just needs to go. Probably going to charity shop. Um, yeah, so there's so much stuff just lying around. It is an absolute mess. It's a shocker. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So what's happened today? I've been at school. Uh, we had torrential rain at lunchtime, which then meant we had a lot of kids indoors in the indoor spaces where they're allowed to be at lunchtime. They were very, very crowded. We had a lot of very, very wet students in the afternoon. So the last two hours of this afternoon at school was tiring, to say the least. But we, we got through it and it's the weekend. Um, and I got home to this, which had arrived actually. Um, this is a medal. Yay, it says slow motion runner, and that is me. Um, so this is from a company called Virtual Runner. They are a brilliant company, one woman show, um, local business to me, Nottingham. Sue, Susan runs this. And she does online um, virtual races. So you can sign up um, and say, I'm gonna run 5K in October, or I'm gonna run 50K in October, whatever kind of channel challenge you want she has loads of challenges and then when you have completed your challenge you send her some evidence of that and she sends you sends you your medal so this was one actually I signed up for in September um, and it was just like how far could you run in 60 minutes um, run or walk and to be honest September still wasn't well September I've just been croaky and choky and coldy all through September so not a lot of running happened but I just managed to get that in at the end of September and so my little medals arrived, isn't it cute? Um, what else? Oh, just going to show you. So Witch's Brew went up on uh, sale um, in the Etsy shop yesterday, and I put it up on Instagram, and one skein just got, went straight away. So there are a couple of skeins left of this. So I'm going to be. This is one of the things that I'm going to be um, labelling this afternoon, and also on Sunday I'm going to record the podcast. We are now well over 600 subscribers. Blog. Tobe, I was going to say vlogmas then, Vlogtober has just been amazing uh, for adding subscriber numbers. Um, I had said I wanted to get 600 so that I could do a giveaway and when I started Vlogtober I wasn't about 600, 601, something like that. Now about 660 which is just amazing. So this is the giveaway yarn. So this will be Sunday I will record a podcast which will be an extended, um, extended video 
probably be between 45 minutes and an hour showing you everything I've been working on properly over the last couple of weeks knitting wise and we will do a giveaway for this skein of yarn which is a one of a kind it was one of those where I was dying a couple of weeks ago and I had some purple dye leftovers and blues and various things and just threw it all into a pot with this skein of yarn and that's what you've ended up with so if you want to enter that giveaway that will be on Sunday talking of giveaways I don't know why but one of the vlogtobers that I've done I think it's day five a few people have said they're having problems playing it I honestly have no idea why I think that was the one that took ages to upload um, obviously some people have viewed it fine but I know a few people said they've had problems um, viewing it and obviously there is Mr Pumpkin to look for if you are joining in in that giveaway. So um, I'm going to say that the day five won't count. You don't have to. I mean, great if you spotted him and made a note. But if you don't, if you can't uh, watch day five and you're doing the Mr Pumpkin, then just day, day five's a freebie. <laughs> you can just leave that one blank. Um, I have no idea why some people are struggling to watch that video. Um, it's a real shame because it's the video I think where I it's a real shame <laughs> um, but it's the video where I go through my um, um, four ply stash but hand dyed stash so yeah I have no idea why some people are having problems with that not everybody is um, all I can say is try and refresh and maybe another option is to go to your settings and try and watch it in lower definition in a lower quality video try that it's nothing to do with me I didn't do anything different I promise but it did take a long time to upload um, so yeah sorry about that um, the other thing I was going to say is, I don't know, just gone out of my head. Oh, no, I know what I was going to say. Uh, big thank you for all the comments. Uh, Rosemary, thank you for saying you like it when I wear my hair up. If I've got my hair up, it's usually because it's first thing in the morning or, um, or I've got too warm or whatever. I, I tend to wear it down more. I think, I think I look better with my hair down. But anyway, but thank you for the compliment, Rosemary, that you like it when I've got my hair up. So I put it up roots desperately need doing so um and yeah the amazing amount of comments as well obviously I, I was genuinely quite nervous about putting up that vlog yesterday saying um about the Stephen West uh um knits. and I wasn't saying it to be controversial or anything like that I was just saying it because quite a lot of people had asked me whether I was going to do it and I don't know I suppose in some ways I felt a little bit like I was having to justify why I wasn't doing it which is kind of weird uh, but it was and I don't think anyone's taken it like this obviously it wasn't in any way disrespectful to anybody who is doing it and I will be looking at what you're doing and I will enjoy looking and yeah thank you for those of you that have commented and said that you feel a similar way or the same way because it's just made me feel a little bit better about it I think um yeah so honestly I was really quite afraid of putting it up that I was going to get a load of hate maybe that's still to come but no thank you thank you for that and I wasn't hating on anybody as well um you might be able to see there there's some yarn stacked up but that is for the knit along that I am going to be joining in with which I'm going to tell you about when I start on it or just before I start on it um but I'm going to go because I'm already at about eight or nine minutes of this rambling plus I recorded three or four minutes of rambling this morning and I'm trying to keep the afternoon or the daily vlog uh, vlogtobers quite short um so yes there won't be much more to add on to this I don't think and then it'll be going up so yeah, what I'm going to do now is prep the mystery clubs so that they're ready to post out. The last thing that I wanted uh, arrived yesterday, super cute. Um, I've also got a printout. I always do like a little, like a little mini postcard with a picture of what's inspired me. Um, so I've got to print those out um, and just package up the yarn. Uh, one's going to France. Um, and one will be staying here, well two will be staying here, one will be staying here for me and one will be staying here to give away for the uh, Vlogtober giveaway. Right, okay. Um, plans for this evening, takeaway or just a pizza from the supermarket and a bottle of wine. Um, probably Zoom with some friends for a little bit. Um, yeah catch up with a few vlog oh I know what yes I was gonna say other vlogtobers that I watch <sighs> right yes so the other vlogtobers that I'm trying to keep up with Stitches and Jack Karen love Karen she's so funny um and I love her uh, vlogtobers 
I haven't necessarily kept up with all of them during the week, so I will probably try and catch up with them over the weekend. Um, Alex from My Yarny Corner, she's up in Yorkshire. She does a little vlog each day, so I've been trying to catch up with hers. Um, I'm sure there's somebody else. It's really bad, isn't it? If I sit here pausing and thinking for too long, I will edit that out. So Karen, Alex, is that it? I'm sure there must be more. Well, Karen and I are going to be today. Oh, the dog's just seen something. Excuse me. Go on then. Don't know what you're going to do. The dog just saw a squirrel outside, and that's why he's gone mad. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Karen and Alex, I will link their channels below, and I'm sure there are others that I am watching, and I will tell you about those on another day. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. So to give you an example of how bad the office is, oh my goodness, I'm actually quite ashamed of this, but this is the state of the desk. <sighs> yeah this definitely needs some clearing up there's the witch's brew ready to uh, get labeled up and posted out